All right, welcome back to Wicked Auto. So the install we're doing today is the ABS light shield. So it sits on like this, right? This is just dry fit. So it's on like this, and then it has a light bar, light bar, that goes right in this section right here. And it lights up, you can tie it in however you want. You can tie it into your headlights itself, and it'll, I mean, if you tie it into your low beam, it'll be on when your low beams are on. Tie it in turn signal, it's only gonna be on when your turn signal's on. I'm just gonna tie it into a running fuse, so they're on all the time. But let's go ahead and do the install. Uh, they do sell these, what I saw, uh, Ford, Chevy, GMC, uh, Ram. Not sure about Nissan or Toyota, I don't know. But let's go ahead and get into it. So first, let's go ahead and get this fit, right? Okay, so it does not actually line up perfect. So if I get on the edge this side, I'll hold it around. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it lines up perfect. Okay. So now the light bar is this. So it comes on a spool, all curled up. Right, I took it off, try to let it set a little bit. As you can see, it's still pretty curled. But, so it comes with a hole drilled in for you on this side. I'm um, assuming if a vehicle's batteries on this side, it makes sense, but most are not. It's on this side. So I plugged that one. I have some uh, weather stripping for, you know, a door in your house. I have some of that, it's a half inch. I just stuck it on the back here where the hole is. So I'm not getting any water or anything like that. And it's uh, 3M on the back. So I don't have to worry about that coming off. And of course, that's how this sticks to your hood is 3M. But since I plugged that one, I drilled a new hole on this side. So as this is in, I wire, run the wire through the back and just underneath. So you're not gonna see it once it's actually done. Um, so let's go ahead and get this light put onto this, run the wire through, and then I can go ahead and stick that in, and then we'll get to the wiring. <laughs> stuck on uh, which it's pretty it's pretty stuck on there so the reviews that I've seen on this and in case anybody's worried about it blowing off no issues with that no shaking vibrating anything like that so I mean of course I'll give you a review in a couple months uh, we're taking a road trip next month quite a long road trip so I'll definitely get the usage usage out of this to be able to tell you if it vibrates flies off in itself whatever the case is but so it's on one thing that bugs me a little bit is there isn't a space where the wire comes out it's not like the bug shield itself isn't notched so i was a little worried about that pinching the wire but it doesn't look like it's going to be an issue because of the 3m that's on the back side of this how it sticks to the hood itself the 3m is pinching the wire so it's not against the metal of the truck or it's against the metal on the underneath side, but it's not pinched between the metal of the hood and the plastic of the bug shield. It has a 3M in between, so there's actually a gap between the wire and the plastic. So it's not going to pinch, but just a thought for ABS. But now it's wiring. So they actually give you, uh, of course, alcohol pads to wipe everything down. I already wiped the hood down with uh, Gion Prep. That's what I do for a detailing. Um, it's basically, if you don't have a special spray, you just use isopropyl alcohol, uh, what, 70%, 90%, whatever you choose, 
to make sure the vehicle itself is free of oils, fingerprints, dirt, grime, whatever, uh, to detailing, I mean, a ceramic. This, so for the 3M to stick, you don't want any of your oil from your hands or anything like that on it. So I used Gion Prep. I did not use the alcohol pad on the hood. I did use one of the alcohol pads on the light shield itself, uh, the bug shield, to stick the LED strip on. I did use the alcohol pad for that. Um, they also give you a little square 3, 3M piece uh, to stick your wire here so it stays up underneath your hood. Then they give you clips, uh, 3M wire clips. So these can stick wherever you can so it doesn't hit you know, your mounts. Stick this to hold the wire as you're running it down so it's not hang, hanging or something like that. So it is nice that they include all of this. It does make it very helpful. I don't have to use extra stuff. Um, something that I should have thought of before I installed this was a cover for the wire. Wrap the exposed wire underneath the hood with the wire wrap to keep it a little protected, but no big deal. It's underneath the hood. I'm not worried about it. I mean, but let's go ahead and get into the wiring itself. So I was reading the instructions and it does say to tie it into your marker light. Uh, which of course this is this one, whatever vehicle you have that you're watching. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna run it straight into the fuse box. So let me find which fuse I am going to tap into. I have wire taps for that. And we'll zoom in on this while I wire it up to show you. Okay, so it's finally wired up. So I apologize, it's already wired. I mean, but I'm gonna show you. My issue was finding out which fuse I could use to where it didn't permanently draw power. I don't wanna <laughs> come out and the battery's dead. So we'll get to that. As you can see, I used the wire clips. This is how I ran it uh, so it doesn't clip. Uh, so like right here, you can see this indentation. It hits this bump right there. So you wanted to miss that, right? I guess I should have put another one right there so it stays out around it. Uh, I'll do that. But then I ran it down behind, or underneath this little foam piece right here to keep it safe and up out of the way. Uh, cut the wire shorter because right there's a negative terminal. Just uh, added a circle tie to that for the negative. Then use the fuse tap for the positive here and I actually ended up using Fuse 28, uh, which on the fuse box itself here, the lid is parking lamp mirror grill. So I tried Fuse 3. That is, what is 3? That is headlamp left. Um, the lights were on permanently. Like they didn't turn off with the truck. So that didn't work. I then tried, what, Fuse 10, I believe. No, it wasn't 10. I don't know which one, the second one. I tried the second Fuse. Same thing, it was on all the time. So I went with the headlamp and it does, or the parking, and it does work. Uh, as soon as I start the truck, lights are on. So the Fuse tap, you pull the Fuse that you're using Put it into the tap. Let me grab another one here to show you. I got a whole pack of them. So you take your fuse out of the fuse box, put it here. Uh, of course, it did come with an extra set of fuses. So like the, just in case. So the fuse I pulled is a 15. This light is a five. So I added another five, so it'll give me 20, right? So I don't blow a fuse. Now I do have extra fuses just in case. Uh, which these are micro two. You need to know that. You can't just go grab any uh, add a fuse. It needs to be a micro two on the newer vehicles. Uh, the Ford was the same way that we did. The new vehicles, micro two. So just uh, pinch it here with the add a fuse. It comes with it. Just run the positive into there, crimp it tight. Now I put this white 3M. I don't have any normal 3M. This is for interior crap. But I put that on so it doesn't, the wire isn't pinched when I put the fuse lid back on. Uh, and I tested it, does do a good job just when you pull the lid back off. This comes back off. It's not very sticky. I gotta go get more 3M. 
I'll go grab, go run to our Riley's. It's the closest one and grab some automotive 3M uh, so it stays because that's going to bug me now. But it works. Uh, let's go ahead and move the lid. I'll put that back on in a minute. And let's show you guys. Let's get in here and start the truck. And there we are. So, of course, I didn't close the hood. I didn't. I mean, you can tell the little gap there. Let me shut it just so nobody complains. There we go. All right. What do you guys think? I like it, uh, obviously. I mean, I bought it. I figured I would like it. This thing, which, that big, uh, that big white box, that's what it comes in. So, I think it really adds to it. That looks awesome. Now, they do have an upgraded version to where it is turn signals and hazards and all that. I don't care about that. If you want, you can run this, add more wires, and just run it to the turn signals in the first place. But uh, you can also get it paint match, but that's only for the onyx black, two different whites, and a, the silver metallic. There's the only colors you can get paint matched, because I probably would have done that. Uh, but it does, it goes well. I mean, it's a textured plastic. Uh, you could, of course, if you're really worried about it, you could sand it down yourself and paint it. Uh, I have the F-150 video of painting the fen uh, fender flares that I had on it. It's the same concept, sand it smooth. Adhesion promoter, primer, paint, uh, clear coat. So it's up to you guys, but I love it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, of course, I will put the link in the description. Uh, I got this off a real truck. Of course, you can go to AVS's website themselves. You can get it off Amazon, American Trucks. You can get it on a lot of different sites. But that's where I chose mine. They had a Black Friday thing going on. I bought it day before Thanksgiving, and it showed up on Saturday, I believe. Uh, same with the Boost Auto. I bought that Wednesday as well, and it showed up Friday, I believe. Friday or Saturday? But yeah, super quick shipping with both of them. Uh, great quality so far. I know Boost Auto is awesome had the mirrors on the f-150 i've used their parts for the mirrors or the stock regular mirrors on the f-150 then the tow mirrors so i i completely trust boost auto avs i've had the rain guards before i love them uh which these are from gmc av i didn't like avs's options for this refresh and gmc but avs uh light shield they also have a cab one so I was looking at the cab lights, the wireless ones uh, that are like 500 bucks, which is insane for five little lights. But I don't know if I want the, because it's the same kind of concept, the same piece, the textured plastic with the vertical piece up on the cab with the same kind of lights. I, I don't know if I'll go that route. I, I'm on the fence, whether I'll like it or not. Because once it's leveled, the 35s, I mean, it's going to be a taller truck. Probably won't even fit in the garage anymore. Uh, but I, I think it may look okay. We'll see what happens. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the description or the comment section. The link is in the description. Like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Hopefully it's the exhaust. See you later.